So here we are, 10,000 years ago. We're going to go back again. Here we see the entire ice age. We see the dip in CO2 from here where we are about, uh, and we go down to about 100, about, yeah, 100 points in CO2 level. We see the temperature go down to a low of eight degrees Celsius. That's really cold, by the way. Really, really cold. That's the average temperature across the, the surface across of the planet. Across the planet. Um, the tropics were, the tropics stayed a lot more steady than the poles did. So the further north you went, the, the more dramatic the change was. And look at the sea level. I had to shift scales here, that, that we were at the scale of meters. Now we're at the scale of hundreds of meters down 120 to 130 meters. Whoa, that, that means that the, all of the continental shelf was exposed as, um, as land. Tell us something that's 130 meters high in Miami. Oh, what it's gonna be the 130 meters high. How, How many high stories is that? Else? It's about 40. 40 stories? 40 stories, yeah. So like so the this is Bank like, of America building? This is like the, the, the buildings on Brickle. The buildings on Brickle, yeah. So those, thing, those things would just be either underwater or just peeking out of the water. Yeah. Whoa, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this is a map showing the migration of people from- Except, except back up saying, so no, they weren't okay. under, underwater. So that, that was, it was that much lower. That much lower, yeah, so they weren't, exactly. they, So they weren't inundated, they were- No, no, they, it was, that much lower, right? So essentially, so, so, so then the whole continental shelf. The whole continental shelf was exposed. sticking up, going down as far as one of those buildings. So, right. so those buildings would be twice as high because instead of relative to current sea level, sea level is that much lower. They'd be up on a, on a plateau, a high plateau. So Miami wouldn't, Miami wouldn't have been, um, you know, uh, Miami would be, we're not coastal. We would have been like, way uh, inland. you know, a couple Not hundred miles inland. inland. Yeah. 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 I mean, really, it's the whole continental shelf. And I mean, I think about archaeology. Imagine doing underwater, uh, you know, archaeology, underwater archaeology. There's a lot of stuff going on there in that, <laughs> in that land that was so that, exposed and is no more. So that meant that sort of all around the planet where people did live, they had moved out to the coastlines way, way out. Right. And now how far, how long ago was this again? Uh, this was uh, uh, 15,000 years ago. 15,000 years ago. Okay, so people were just coming into the new world at this time. And that meant that, that when, of course, everybody settled on the coast, every, you know, because that's, that's where all the food is. Um, so people moved down the coasts of, of the, the Pacific coast of the U.S. and they made it around um, down yep. into South America. So they would have been a coastal people living much farther out than they are today. Right. And so what that kind of tells us is that from there back in history, people had, had moved in and out with the coastlines as the sea level went up and down. So it wasn't a case of building your buildings out of concrete or stone or whatever. You traveled light and you always tracked the ocean as it moved. Yeah. Uh, and here this map shows those black areas. That is the continental shelf that is exposed. Uh, by the lower sea level. So the Red Sea disappears entirely and this area in Indonesia disappears. The distinction between Australia and, and uh, Borneo is gone. Um, and, you know, people traveled from our origins right in here in, in uh, equatorial region out across the world. 